What's going on guys? It's your boy Chaos237 bringing you guys another video. Really excited to bring you guys this video man. I've been working on it for the past few days because as you all know EA dropped a patch changing the way zones play and how the players play within those zones. So I decided to investigate what exactly the stats that matter and which ones that don't when it, when it pushes a player to play a certain way within those zones. So I figured out which ones do and don't matter, and then within the ones that do matter, I figured out what the thresholds were to push them to play the best way possible. So in this video, I'm going to put the players in a bunch of different scenarios and show you the ways that they play differently based on what their stats are. So I come to a bunch of different conclusions, which I do list at the end of the video. For those of you that want to skip all the scenarios and don't really care about the proof and just want to see what I come to the conclusion of, you guys can just skip to the end, but please make sure not to... Uh, to still like, comment, and subscribe with any questions you may have. But for the basis of this video, the Niners are all set to aggressive, while the Dolphins are set to conservative. I wanted to put them on aggressive and conservative to see if that affects anything based on the stats, or is it mostly just the stats. And I do come to a conclusion there as well. However, let's jump into the video, man. I'm going to start with the CBs and show you guys the stats, and then we're going to jump into the different scenarios, man. Here we go. Here we go guys, we're just scrolling through the CB stats here. They all have the same speed and agility and acceleration. But you see in the zone coverages, we're changing them around. We're going to start with Robinson, who's 81 zone. Guys, alright, here we go. He's throwing a short corner route. That's the main route that we throw throughout this. As you can see, he makes the catch. As we go into the replay here, you're going to see that he doesn't really start jumping it until the ball's about halfway there. So here we go, slow down for you. That's when he jumps it. Ball's about halfway there, he starts jumping it. Which is fine, okay. So now, after after we see that he's only jumping it about halfway, we're gonna change it and we're gonna jump into about a 90 zone. You see, I show Robinson here, 90, 90, 90. Same speed and agility and acceleration as before, all 90s, but now we changed the awareness to uh, 90 and the play rec and the zone are all 90. So everything's the same on Robinson. Doing the same thing here, corner out. Caught it again. Now we're going to go back into the replays. You're going to see not much of a difference between the 80, the 81 zone and the 90 zone, guys. Not much of a difference. He's going to start jumping at about halfway there. Bam, he makes his jump. It's about halfway. Okay? Now, so I try, I wanted to try now the same awareness, I mean, sorry, the same zone, 90 zone, but now we're putting 99 awareness and 99 play rec. If you don't believe me, you can check the depth chart from a couple uh, seconds back. And it looks like the same thing. Still catches it. This is 90 zone, 99 play rec, 99 awareness, guys. So same as Robinson with the zone, but higher play rec, higher awareness. Still jumps at about halfway. Look at that break. Ball's about halfway there. Okay, now... We're going to go to Witherspoon. Witherspoon has 91 zone, but he has 80 play rec and 80 awareness. Okay? And he jumps it. Let's go to the replays. Now, as you can see, he's going to break as soon as he starts throwing it. The ball's not even in the air yet. He's going to make his break. Bam. Making his break. Ball's still in the quarterback's hands. That makes his break right there. 91 zone, 80 play rec, 80 awareness. Making his break, guys. So I come to the conclusion right there. It's got to be 91 zone. And I don't think play rec and awareness matter. However, we're going to jump into now 91 zone with 90 play rec, 90 awareness. Let's see if he plays it any differently than the 91 with 80s in, a, in the play rec and awareness. But i am got a good feeling at this point that it's just the 91 zone that's making a difference. So we're going to jump into it here. Throws it. It's a contested ball, not caught. And now let's jump into the replay. Remember, this is 91 with 90s now instead of 80s. 91 zone. You're going to see here, same thing as before. It's not going to be much quicker, not much sooner. It's about the same thing. Ball's coming out of the quarterback's hand. He's making his break. See the ball in his hands? He's making his break. As soon as the throw starts. Now, we're going to jump into the Dolphins, who, like I said before, is conservative, not aggressive. It's going to be the same thing as before, 91 zone, and... We're, with the 80s and the play rec and awareness, because that doesn't matter now, as we've figured out. Doesn't matter one bit. We're going to see if conservative and aggressive matters. Throw. Contested ball, not cut. But you're going to see, he plays it a little bit weird. 
at least in my opinion. The throw, he breaks at the same exact time, as soon as the ball is getting thrown. But watch how after he breaks, he doesn't even really contest the ball. See that? He kind of just stands there and wait for his, waits for him to try to catch it. I think that's the conservative. So we're going to do one more rep here after this, just to kind of test it out. So, one more. Same kind of thing. He catches it. And, I mean, as you can see, you saw, without even the replay, you can see he doesn't even try to really jump it that much. He breaks it the same time as before. The 91 zone is what makes him react at that point. Bam. He's going. You can see it. Right at the 91 zone, he's going right at the throw before the ball is even in the air. But doesn't even try to make a play on it. I think that's the conservative. I'd like to say with aggressive, like before, the guy jumped it and dropped a pick. So that's what I think. Now, we're going to jump into posts now from the safeties. Just to show it's not just on the sidelines, it matters with the safeties. So Ward's going to have 91 zone, and Jerome's going to have 90 zone, and I'm going to show the two differences between the two. So, here we go. Showing you guys the stats, just so you guys believe me. There it is, 91 and 90. We're in cover four, just like before. Here's a post. Now let's see when he reacts. Just like before, we're going to go into the replays, and we're going to see when he's reacting. He's going to go right when the quarterback is throwing the ball. Before the ball is even in the air. As soon as he th starts his throwing motion, bam, he's on him. Right there. Bam, he breaks. Ball's still in the quarterback's hands. He's breaking on it. Just like before, just like with the, with the corner routes with the CBs. Now, we're going to try Jerome. 90 zone, not 91 anymore. This guy is 90. So, going into this, I'm assuming he's not going to jump the post, just like the 90 CBs didn't jump the corner routes. Let's take a look. Post, caught, really an uncontested ball there, much much uh, easier than the other one. You can even see without the replay. But let's look at the replay, see when he reacts. Ball's about a quarter of the way there when he starts reacting. Not too bad, but it's still not in his hands, and you can still tell the difference. Now, last thing here is we're going to play the post with a CB out of position. So we're putting the cornerback at safety, and I expected him to play it. I didn't think it was going to matter because usually what just gets affected when you move is awareness. And as I already concluded, awareness doesn't really matter when it comes to making the the plays on the ball with the reactions from the QB. However, we're going to see in this replay right here. Let's see when he reacts. This is 91 zone. So I expect him to react. He doesn't. Look, look, when, he, look when he breaks. Look when he's breaking. Right? Bam. Look at that. The ball is almost there already. So you cannot do out of position this year like you did in years past. You can't put Sherman at safety. You can't put Chris Harris at safety. You can't do it. You can't put safeties at CBs either. I have a lot more footage that I haven't shown, but you can't play guys out of position this year, guys. You just can't. It. I don't know what it does because awareness does not matter, it seems like, but it, I guess it messes up their zone coverage when you move them. So there's that. Now, last thing here, I'm going to show you guys the deep corners are still seem to be glitched out. We have a 91 zone corner on the outside here, Johnson, just like what we've had all the other times. And he catches it. He doesn't really break on time either. We're going to look into the replay. It's This was the only route. I tested many, many routes. I did not put all the footage. Trust me, guys. I had like two and a half hours of footage to clip. Deep corners were the only ones that you couldn't get the CB to break on. This is aggressive. This is not conservative. I'm telling you, it's aggressive. 91. I could not get him to do it. And even just replaying this over, guys, just showing you guys one more time. You can see when he makes his break, it's right there. And the ball's three quarters of the way there. So, like, I don't know what it is about the deep corner routes, but it doesn't really, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. But anyways, guys, let's jump into what you guys have been waiting for, my conclusions. You absolutely need 91 zone coverage, no matter where you're at. If you, if you want them to react right when the quarterback's throwing the ball, you want 91. Otherwise, it didn't really matter. Uh, the 70s played like the 80s, and the 80s played like the 90s. If it wasn't 91, they played pretty much the same. I had clips of 70s, but I just decided not to throw them in there. I didn't want to make the video too long. But you can just trust me that pretty much 70 played like 80. I did not test 60, but everyone seemed to play the same way. They would jump about halfway there outside of the 91. Also, no other stats really affected how the CB reacted time-wise. And the safeties, I should say. So... If they had 80 play rec, 70 play rec, it didn't really matter. As long as they had the 91, they were going to jump when the quarterback was throwing. And if they didn't, then they weren't going to jump until about halfway there. So play rec and awareness didn't really matter. 
No traits really affected how the CB reacted time-wise. Aggressive and conservative both were going when the quarterback was going to throw. So the only difference was the conservative kind of bit down, and then he would kind of bite back and let the guy catch it and not really try to play him. So you, I would I would say you want aggressive, but if you're just worried about the timing and making sure the guy's there, 91's all you need. Conservative, aggressive, balance, didn't really matter. Uh, you can't play out of position. 100% the CBs would not play the same way in the safety position and vice versa. So that's def it's definitely something that you want to keep in mind when you're picking out your players. You can't be putting Earl Thomas at corner or Sherman at safety, etc. Lastly, the deep corner routes are still weird with the deep blues. You can put clouds and purples and they'll trail up under them and that you won't be able to throw it. So they're not OP like they were before, but the deep blues still dumb out and they don't react the way they do to every other route with the 91 zone coverage. So keep all these things in mind, guys. And now I'm just going to jump down into the Mudhead stuff with listing all the players that you're going to be able to use. Sean Taylor, obviously. Uh, you got Rodney Harrison, AJ Bowie. You got uh, Chris Harris, Earl Thomas. I'm just going to just let it go through you guys. You guys can see them. I mean, there's not many. There's probably 15 players. I did conclude some 90 zone guys that you're going to see. Anyone that I included that's 90 zone. You can come up to 91, except for um, Casey Hayward and um, Malcolm Butler. Those two you cannot get. So they're going to be stuck at 90. So everyone else you can get up to 91, but like I said, guys, it's not many. So thank you guys for coming through. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and ask me for any questions or any extra clips you guys would like to see. And take it easy. Peace.